Oh, hi, it's me, I'm back. My name is Julian Grimm, and today we're gonna have some fun in Ableton Live 11. Let's do this. So as you know, it's 2021, so I'm gonna start this year with a very special series where I work through the new features of Ableton Live 11, but through the point of view of a rock music producer, a punk rock music producer, because that's what I am, and we're gonna see all the nice new features through my point of view, and probably to the point of view that's worth it for you guys. So I'm gonna do a big chunk of this series working on drums, then I'm gonna have another chunk working on guitars and bass, and another chunk in the end working on vocals. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in the channel soon, so if I was you, I would subscribe to this channel, because why not? It's free, you're gonna have a bunch of Ableton Live tutorials coming out soon, and I bet you guys will enjoy it a lot. So let's start with drums today. So remember 2020, when you went to the studio and you took your drummer there and you're gonna record some nice drums? As an Ableton Live user, you would always think twice, right? Because we didn't have any playlists to record on, we didn't have any track grouping, it was a little bit difficult, right? To record loads of takes and loads of tracks, it was a little bit... Tricky. Well, let me tell you a little secret. In Ableton Live 11 now, you can do all these things. It's really easy. They have kind of different names, but I'll show them all to you and you're gonna really enjoy this one, guys. So in Ableton Live 11, you can create take lanes and you can link tracks. These two new features are essential for recording drums. So let me show you the session I got going on today. Unfortunately, lockdown is a little bit intense in London right now still. So uh, I couldn't go to the studio and record some real drums, but I have some MIDI drums here and I separated the outputs of my plugin as if if they were microphones, so you would have exactly the same thing in your session, but instead of the outputs from the plugin, you would have your microphones, but it would be exactly the same. So let's just pretend I have a magical invisible drummer here in my screen, and I'm talking to him this whole time, I'm not talking by myself, okay? Let's do this. So here we are in the session, and as you can see, I have my drum group here, and all my little drum pieces right here as well. We're ready to record, right? Wait, no we're not. We have to do one thing now in this new version of Ableton Live, and that is linking tracks. Check this out. Select all your drum tracks, right click, and now you have this new button right here called Link Tracks. You press it, this little chain symbol comes up here, and this means that the tracks are linked. And now the record button is linked. So you're never gonna forget to press record on one of these tracks ever again. Once you press record on one of them, you press record on all of them. Solo is still independent, as you can see. Mute as well, volume, penny, all that stuff still independent because it's nice to be able to create mixes of your drums when you're recording and also to listen or mute different pieces of your drum as well. So it's nice that they're independent and the only thing that's linked is the record button. I like that a lot. So now that all the tracks are linked, all you have to do is tell your drummer to go in there and do the best he can and record the stick. Let's do this, guys. Let's turn the click on for him. He's definitely not a MIDI plugin. He's definitely a real drummer. So uh, let's do this. Okay, so first take done. So this is the time your drummer is probably gonna realize that recording drums is a little bit hard and it's gonna take some time, so he's gonna be a little bit insecure. So you just have to keep the energy up and just tell him, calm down, man, you got this, you got this. You're my guy, you got this, we're gonna do this today. It sounds so good already, but it's gonna sound better. You could just go home now with this one take and it'd be awesome, but man, I know you have a better take in you, so let's do one more, let's do it. So he goes back in, you press record again and record again. Okay, another take done, you just tell him, man, this was so good, so much better than the first one. I can't believe you managed to do better than the first time, but this is so much better. You're such a good drummer, but I would really appreciate if you just gave me one more take. Just one more, we could go home now, but just one more take. Come on, just give me one more take. Let's do this. Okay, he's starting to get tired, he, he kind of wants his mom, he wants to go home, he's a bit desperate, but this take wasn't that good, you just need one more, you just need one more, so you gotta tell him. Communicate with your drummer and tell him what you need. You never know when you're gonna get him in the studio again, so you just have to look him in the eyes and tell him. Who's my big man? Who's my champ? You are. You are my champ. Listen to me, you're gonna do this one more time, but you're not gonna do it for me, you're not gonna do it for you, you're gonna do it for your family, you're gonna do it for your country, our destiny is in your hands. So get on there, big boy. Get on your saddle and give me one more take. And he goes in there and gives you one more take. So 
So now you got all your takes and you can send him home. None of the takes are perfect, but you have one big secret in your sleeve. Because Live 11 is a sneaky little doll and you're looking at the screen and telling yourself, wait, but I've just recorded a bunch of takes on top of each other. How am I gonna get to the other takes? Like I, I erased the other takes, I only have the last one, right? No, check this out. Select all your drum tracks like this, right click and show take lanes. And Ableton Live 11 saved all your take lanes for every track right here. You can show it, you can hide it, you can press Option Command U. I don't know the shortcut on PCs because I don't have a PC. Anyways, now you have all your takes in here and you can go home far away from your band and your drummer, calmly lay on your couch and comp these tracks together into one ultimate drum take. And that's what I'm gonna show you in my next video. So if you wanna learn how to comp drum tracks, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave the little bell on if you want. If you don't, it's okay, it's fine, I get it. But next video, we're gonna learn how to comp these drums. Actually, I have some real drums we can comp, which is much more interesting. And we're gonna build that ultimate drum take. Hope you like this video. If you like what I do, please press all the buttons that help me around me in this world. And I see you next time. Bye.